Hi, this is Steve with Cardiac Cycling. Today we're going to focus on programming, specifically on programming SynchroShift. Shift is DI2's process that automatically shifts the front derailleur when the rear is shifted at a certain point on the cassette, whether you're shifting up or down. Today we're going to work on programming that feature. First open eTube project. I have a video on how to get that from Shimano's website onto your computer. I'll have a link for that video below. You also want to use your battery charger to connect to your laptop or your desktop and the first thing we'll do is we'll click the type of bike we have which we're going to be using my road bike and we look for the latest versions we have that that's good the next thing that I like to do is a connection check just to make sure that everything's working well so here we go and you can see here from the description everything is doing as it should now, because I'm using a battery charger, we get this message. Don't worry about that. The battery charger saves you two to three, uh, anywhere from one to two hundred dollars um, in terms of having to buy some other equipment to do your programming. You can do it all with your battery charger. So now we're just going to click OK. And you can see it says connection check that we're connected to the bike via the battery charger and now it's going to go through a process of recognizing the bicycle what's in there so you can see right here it says recognizing unit and there's a bar that's going to fill up with green and once it's done everything on the right hand side should soon illuminate there it goes so now it's got me recognized next thing we'll do is uh, click complete this opens our next screen and here I'm going to click update firmware I like to just do a double check since I'm already in here and see if there are any software updates for the derailleurs or the shifters everything is up to date as it says here so we're gonna click OK next step we click customize new screen next to the last bar is shift mode setting we're gonna click that and we see here that we have our shift modes indicated, shift mode 1 being semi-synchronized and shift mode 2 being synchronized. So the next thing I want to do is uh, make sure that we've got the next button clicked, which takes us to the screen where we'll do our programming. And you see on the left-hand side, that's where we focused last week, the semi-synchro shift, and we changed what happens in the back when we update the front end. Today we're going to focus on the right-hand side. And with a click and a drag, we can change the point at which the front derailleur shifts based upon the rear derailleur's position. So I made one move, which is for shifting up, and the next one is going to be for shifting down. So there you have it. That's it. It's that simple. Of course, you can make changes on the right-hand side as well if you want. I'm good with this. So now we're going to click OK, and you can see here setting has completed normally and we're finished so now we're going to push complete and now complete setup and the program takes a minute there we go next step we want to click on file and exit we want to make sure you do this so you don't end up with your battery discharging this is one of the challenges by using your battery charger for making program changes connecting your battery to the uh, E2 project. So you can see here it says when charging disconnect and reconnect it. So if I was charging that's what I'd do. That's it for today. I hope you found this useful. If you're not subscribed please do so. Give us a thumbs up and if you click the bell you'll get notified the next time we do a video. What in the world am I doing there? Well, That's what happens I guess when you narrate after you've already filmed. Take care. We'll see you on the road. If you enjoy what you see on this channel, please click the subscribe button.